built in the 5th century BC. During the hegemony of Pericles, the Parthenon constitutes the symbol of Athens' power and prestige. Elegant, imposing, and harmonious, the temple consists of a peristasis of Doric order with a total of 46 columns, of which eight are on the short façade. The Parthenon is an octostyle temple that steps outside the usual patterns in hexastyle, in which the short façade of the temples had six columns. Around the entire perimeter of the temple, an elegant ionic frieze depicted the procession of the Panathenaea, the most sacred and important festival for the Athenians, while on the pediments, east and west, we would find statues sculpted by Phidias, celebrating mythological tales related to the city and its patroness Athena. To the east, the scene depicted the birth of Athena from the head of her father Zeus, under the eyes of other deities, such as Hera and Poseidon, while to the west the statues depicted the contest between Athena and Poseidon for the supremacy of the city, won by Athena, and here too we would find other deities such as Nike and Poseidon's wife Amphitrite, positioned in the contender's chariots. Inside, the Parthenon consisted of two rooms. To the west was the Opis Thodomos, where the Athenians kept the city's treasure. While to the east was the cell of Athena Parthenos, a large lavish room that housed precious objects and statues, including the large chryselephantine sculpture of Athena Parthenos, made of gold and ivory by Phidias. All along the perimeter of the building, metopes depicted various mythological scenes from the Trojan War to the Centauromachy. <laughs> The Parthenon endured for centuries, and even in the 1600s it was still possible to admire much of the structure, until cannon fire from the Venetians, at war with the Turks who controlled the Parthenon at the time, heavily damaged the structure. Today, after years of strenuous anastylosis and reconstruction, it is possible to admire the remains of what is considered one of humanity's most important monuments, a symbol and cradle of Western culture. 